How's it going? Hope you're doing good on your side over there. Doing good over here. Uh, let me go ahead and get those colors running down below and explain what I got going on here. Got a 20 by 24 inch canvas. I went ahead and put some black gesso right there. Of course, if you, um, as I've said in other shows, if you use the gesso or acrylic, make sure you let that dry before you continue the process. Um, but once that dried, I went ahead and put some clear medium on the entire canvas, and I am using Bob Ross Liquid Clear. Be careful, make sure when you put it on, just grab a paper towel or um, some kind of towel and just wipe the excess off so you have the right amount. This way you don't have any issues. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and use a two inch brush and I'm gonna tap into some of my white paint here. So this is completely clear, so I wanna put some, some white paint in there, okay? And as always, uh, take that deep breath, feel good about yourself, be proud, be a Marine, you know, something, something good, and we'll, we'll go ahead and slap it on there and, and have a good outcome. And, you know, I'm a little under the weather, I've been dealing with COVID for the last few days, so if I'm a little coffee and congested and a little foggy, I apologize, okay? But uh, with that, let's rock out with that brush out. Pound to you, and uh, let's go ahead and rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start right here. There we go. Just get a little bit of this white up in here because I just wanted a little bit of a light sky today. So just load up and just get yourself some white paint. I don't like to, when I use the clear medium, I don't like to use clear medium here and say liquid white there because when it dries, this is all glossy and this is dull. So I just put the clear on the entire thing and then I'll just add a little bit of white as if I put the uh, white medium on. So there we go. Always get a couple of hairs. Make sure if you are using natural bristle brushes, it will help with your blending and stuff. But one of the downsides is you're gonna have some shedding. Apologize, give me one moment. I got a nice hair right there. Okay, and I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna start out with my Indian yellow. Not too, too much. And I think we will start about right there. There we go. There you go. And I'm just doing the X's. There you go. And that should be good. Oh, we're gonna have snow here, so don't get too far into the yellow because I don't want too much yellow snow, I guess you could say. Let me uh, knock off some of those hairs. I'm gonna go right into the yellow ochre. A little bit of that. And we'll come over here, maybe a little bit more. It's always better to use less and then work your way, okay? There we go. So we'll have ourselves a little bit of that yellow ochre working it around. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. There we go, just like that. You're already starting to get a nice, nice looking sky. Maybe just, just a touch more, just a touch more. Maybe. Just like that. There we go. And now I'm gonna go into my crimson, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go into my ochre, so some crimson and some ochre. Load that up, and we'll go right here. And start working that in. There you go. 
Gives you a nice little peachy, very, very nice kind of pastelish kind of kind of color there. And I'll grab a little bit more. Pull some of that down. And then tap into it. And we'll come over here. There we go. There we go. Just keep working it in. Not not too much paint, okay? Because otherwise it gets too too bright. It gets too too bright. So just tap in some of that color and we'll go right here. Here we go. And we'll go into some straight alizarin crimson. Not too much. This will light up your sky, okay? I'll start over here in the corner and maybe over here in this corner and then I'll just work my way over. There we go. If I did, went right into that white spot with that first little touch, man, it would have been way, way too great. And then just like that. Very, very softly. Very softly. I want to come over here and just. There. There you go. So nice, nice looking sky. It's nice and bright. It will add a little bit. Just a little bit of the crimson. Not much. Not much. There you go. Just like that. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna grab a one-inch brush, and I'm gonna go into some of them, some of my white, and we'll say the sun maybe is. Ah, where where do we want the sun? Maybe right here. Just like that, and then softly, just softly, kind of work here. Work your way on out. There you go. So very easily you put a sun in and we'll put that down. And I want to go ahead and just mix a little bit of a kind of a sky color. So I'm going to use, uh, use my palette knife. I'm going to grab a little bit of my crimson and you don't need a lot. And I'll just put that right there with a touch, a touch of my blue. And I believe I'm using Prussian blue this time around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my white and I'm gonna mix that. There we go. It gives you a nice little purpley color. Clean the knife. I'll just use that one inch brush actually it has yellow on it so I'll put that away let me go ahead and just grab a I'll just grab a different one inch brush there we go I'm gonna go ahead and just tap tap just a little bit and we'll start here and just like that just little little taps and then just come in and in these little little purple spots here or there maybe just tap them see you don't have to do much just tap and maybe something like so There we go. Tap a little bit more. Start over here. There we go. You, as you can see, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just tapping, but I don't, I don't have a lot of paint, okay? If you have a lot of paint, it's gonna be super bright. And it won't be as effective, okay? But as you can see, you can get this beautiful clouds, and I'm just touching, just touching. Just touching. Something like so. It's 
something like so. Do we want a little bit more? Maybe just, just a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Something like that. There we go. Maybe a, just a touch more, just a touch more. You can sit here all day with this. Sit here all day with this. And then I'm gonna touch into a little bit of my white. And just find a couple spots and just Just tap in a little bit, a little bit of white. Not much, not much. There we go. There we go, so you get some different things going on. And let me put this down. I'm gonna grab that brush we had earlier that we were using, it's still dirty. Just make sure you don't go into the yellow. And I just want to just blend a little bit of this. Just a little bit, like so. Very soft, very soft. I mean, I'm barely, barely touching. And then you got a beautiful sky. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that same one inch brush that we were just putting the clouds in. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into a little bit of my crimson here. And right here, I'm gonna go like this. There you go. And I know it looks crazy right now, but when we get done, it will look like there's some clouds there, okay? And just a little shadow with the purple, just to get a little bit of shadow in there. There you go, okay? We'll put that down. Here's the brush that has the yellow and the white that we used earlier to put the sun in. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit of white here. And I'm gonna come in like this, right from here, and whoosh. And then I'm gonna turn the brush because if I touch that with that dirty spot, it kinda ruined it. So if you go right there, and I'm gonna come and go like that. I'm gonna clean the brush, I'm just gonna rub some off, go right back into a little bit of the white. And we're gonna get a nice streak right here, so whoosh. And then maybe, maybe one more this way. There you go. So we got a nice, beautiful sun going off with the rays. Let me put that down. Give me one second. And then, ah, let me just get a, a clean brush. I'm gonna use a clean, just a clean two inch brush and just very softly There we go. There we go. So we got some sun rays. We have ourselves a awesome background sky working. I hope you're enjoying this painting. And I, you know, if I get some static with the microphone, I apologize. It's right here. So anytime it hits my shirt or anything like that, it makes like a static sound. So I apologize if it does that. But let's go ahead and mix in a little bit of color here. So I wanna go ahead and just grab a little bit of my black. I'll put some right there, maybe a little bit more, and a little bit of my Prussian blue, about the same proportion. Go ahead and just mix that up. I'm gonna clean that knife, grab some white. I'm gonna come right here, and I wanna lighten the color up, okay? So we got blue and black, and a little bit of white. Let's go ahead and clean that knife. And I'm gonna go ahead today and use the Bob Ross Oval. I got some old brushes. I like to keep using them from time to time. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I haven't, haven't done it in a while. So I'm just gonna tap into a little bit. Just tap into it. 
and uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and rock and roll. All right, I'm just gonna come in and maybe right there. There we go. Some like little foothills in the background. There we go. Just something like that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and I'm just gonna grab a two inch brush and tap into just a little bit of white. And I'm gonna come right in here. There we go. Right on the bottom, right on the bottom. There you go. I kind of missed that out. Like so. And then very softly just lift it. There you go. I'll put that down. Use that same brush. Tap into the same color. And do another little row right in front of it. There you go, maybe I tap it a little bit more. There you go, make it a little bit darker there. There you go, put that down for a second. Grab that two inch brush. Tap into a little bit of that white. Come right in here. There you go. Just keep tapping, tapping, tapping. To make it nice and misty for you. There you go. Just kind of miss that out a little bit. There you go. I'm going to go ahead, take that same brush. I think this time I will tap into the darker color. There we go. Oop, we got a nice hair. Always have hairs. Always have hairs. And I think, yeah, something like so. There we go. Just like that. Tap it, tap it. There we go. Tap into the dark stuff. There you go. So if you don't have one of these oval brushes, you can still use your two inch brush, one inch brush, don't matter. And just come in. Maybe do something like that. Tap in a little bit darker on the corner here. Do the same thing over here. There you go, something like so. Let me put that down. And I'm gonna grab, I got that same two inch brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just mist that up a little bit. So once again, just grab a little bit of your white paint and just come on down here and just tap. And it'll make it nice and misty. Pretty cool, huh? Don't have to do much, just tap. Just tap. And we'll come in and very softly lift that up. All right. 
and I'm going to go ahead and it looks like you could put some water in right there, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. But I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to pull some of this burnt sienna and I'm going to go ahead and tap. Look how I'm doing the brush. See how the brush is? It's not this way or that way. It's this way and tap, okay? We're going to go in long ways. And I think I'm going to put in I don't know, a bunch of background kind of trees. We'll kind of go with it for now. Just tap, tap. There you go. Maybe we'll put, I don't know, something over here as well. Just behind. There you go. There we go. And, I don't know, let's make this just a little bit bigger right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and darken it up now and add some of my burnt umber. And I'll start down here. There you go. Tap, 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 tap. There you go. Nice, beautiful scene already, huh? Nice, beautiful scene. Same thing, just pull some down and tap. And I'm gonna go ahead now and I think I'll tap into this just a little bit right in front. Right in front, so you got some different things going on. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Get nice and dark right there. There we go. There you go. Let me put that down with your liner brush. Got a brand new brush today. I'm going to try this out. I'm going into my clear medium. And I'm going to go, I'm going to start with the brown. So I'm going to go right into my burnt umber. Get some on there and roll it up, roll it up, twist it. All right. Well, let's see how this guy works. Uh, not too bad. All right. And I'm going to come in and just put in. Put in some branches. Grab a little bit more here. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit more of that medium. Excuse me one second. And I'm just going to go to the same little bit of dark color we had. It may not pop out. We'll see. But we'll come in. Ah, not too bad. There we go. There we go. Let's get some different little branches going here and there. There we go. It's these little things that kind of help that painting. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dip into that medium one last time. And we go into this gray color. We still have some, some of the black. Let me, uh, eh, should come out. Should come out. I just want to go into this gray. I'm going to come over here. Yeah, does not. So I'm going to dip into a little bit of my white medium. I want to go into the same stuff and lighten it up. Give me one second here. There it is. All 
So we have different color branches to go with the different colors that we put down. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? All different awesome things. I'm gonna use a one inch brush, tap into a little bit of that white. I'm gonna come over here and just lighten this up a little bit. There you go. Awesome. Pretty cool. All right, let me put that down. I'm gonna grab a filbert brush. Actually, I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use this bigger flat brush. I forget what size it is, but it's uh, a flat brush. I'm gonna go into my white here. There we go. I'm gonna load this up. And I know it looks like you could put some water in, and you probably can if you'd like to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some, some of my white here and. Do a nice little snow scene here. There we go. There we go. Maybe something like that. Maybe. There we go, something like that. Maybe, maybe something like so. There we go, you could just play with it, have fun. You have, you know, you could do different things. Let me just brighten it up slightly. Like so, and maybe, uh, I don't know. There we go, something like that. And we've got over here. Let me go ahead and just wipe that off. It's got a little bit of dark paint on it. And grab a little bit more of this white. And I'll just come in. There we go. Grab a little bit. Pretty cool. Get a lot of distance. A lot of distance. All right, let me wipe that down. Getting a little bit of that darker color. Let me grab some more white paint here and I'm going to come in and just start to there we go get a little bit of highlight color in there there we go just like that I don't want to get too far ahead because I'm thinking maybe I don't know Think about maybe putting in some kind of I don't know some kind of maybe put some mortar there and stuff like that. Let me put this down. I'm going to grab a fan brush. I want to put in a couple of pine trees. Maybe something right there. I'm going to use the same color. Actually, I'll maybe mix up a little bit more. Give me one second here. So some black, Let's scoop that, there we go. And same amount of blue. There you go. Clean that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white and I'll put it right, I'll just put it right there. Clean your knife. And let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna grab myself 
I'd like to use a little bit of paint thinner, but I just don't have, ah, let me go ahead and just a drop, a drop of the paint thinner. We go into the black here and it's going to be a little bit too much. I can see it pouring down already. All right. So black on one side or the dark color and that's just way too loose. Ah, apologize. And then some, your light on the other. So dark on one side, light on the other. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to basically double load this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe put one right here. And I'm going to come in and just start tapping. Tap. And there you go, got a nice little pine tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe a little bit of that off. There we go. I'm gonna go into the same dark color that we had on one side. And come over here and get the light on the other. And maybe we'll put one, maybe we'll put one right here. Except the light is there, so I'll just go like that. One sec, I just want to fix that. There we go. Never have a perfect painting. Just gonna let you know. You're gonna have issues, okay? But just do your best and just tap, tap. Maybe a little bit more dark. There we go. There you go. And we'll do this one more time. So if you're struggling with your highlights, you can just do it in one stroke like this, and then it shouldn't be too bad for you. And we'll do another one, maybe right there. And same thing, just touch. And start working your arms out. Get a little bit more of that dark color on the one side. Come back. And that's it. Maybe we'll put this one a little bit closer. There you go. And then you got two and a three wonderful pine trees. And you haven't done nothing but one little stroke. And I'm going to go ahead and use my liner brush. I'm going to dip into my clear medium. I'm gonna go into a little bit of the white here, and we'll go into a little bit of the brown. This would be Van Dyke. And I just wanna come in and put a couple little, little trunks. And maybe same thing here. And maybe thing there, right there. There you go. And maybe just a little bit more right there. There you go. So you got some nice trunks and stuff. You go ahead and get this guy cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and find my filbert brush that I was using. There we go. And I'm gonna grab some, some of my white paint here and come in right underneath and just there you go. Just fix, fix the feet a little bit. Grab a little bit more and just come in. There you go. And let's come in and do something like that. There we go. There 
we go. Something like that. Start to build this now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There we go. Just like that. There we go. So you have a nice little idea of how, how we're going to work this in here. Something like so. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Trying to think as I go, so I apologize if I'm getting quiet. Just letting my mind kind of do its thing here. There we go. Pretty cool. Just love the distance that you get all the way through the whole thing. Let me go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna grab a two inch brush. And I wanna to start to put in a little bit of some color here. So let me get a little bit of white. And I'm going to come in. There we go. And maybe a little bit of that crimson. bit more there we go a little bit of that peachy color grab a little bit of white a little bit of the peachy color we grab a little bit more it's just not popping out there you go just a little at a time a little at a time until you Get what you're looking for. There we go. All right, and now I add a little bit of white to this. And everything starts popping out. There you go. Straight down, straight down, as best as you can, straight down. and then across. There you go, beautiful, huh? All right, we'll put that down, and we go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put it in the white and we'll just go back, and we'll just go back. All right, so we'll have something like that. There we go. There you go. Just like that. Just lay in the white and we'll go back and figure out. We'll smooth it out and kind of figure out what we want to do. But at least this gives you an idea of the land, how we want everything set up. You see that? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Maybe a little bit. There we go. We'll come in, maybe. There we go. Just like that. Let me put that down. And grab this other two inch brush and just start to kind of just smooth this out a little bit. There you go. Same thing over here. 
Just smoothing it out. That's all I'm doing. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to put that down. I'm going to go ahead and grab a... I'll grab this other filbert brush I got here. Kind of want some big old tree right there maybe. I'm going to go into... Go into my burnt umber, or maybe just a touch of the black. I mean, mainly burnt umber here. Load it up on both sides like so. And I'm thinking... Maybe something like that. There we go. And load up again. There we go. Maybe. Same thing there. Maybe this one's a little fatter. There we go. I'm sorry, I know this is a boring thing, but there we go. There we go, something like that. Maybe we'll put it, we'll go with more black on this one. And we'll put one right there just like that maybe something like that and have it come in there you go and maybe I don't know maybe another one it comes out this way Pretty cool. All right. And I'm going to take this while I have it and start to have a little bit of fun. Just cleaning this up a little bit. Something like so. There we go. Just using my black. Now remember, I have, the black that I use is Mars black, so it's pretty dark. So you may need to mix some other colors if it's uh, not giving you quite the color you're looking for. Something like so. And we'll just do something like that. There we go. There we go. And a little bit over here as well. Something like that. There we go. There you go. So you just get the, you know, the underneath kind of like a bank. There you go. And then you can have a little bit of fun bringing that up a little bit, maybe like that. And come in. Just like that. It gives it a little bit of depth, like maybe there's a little... Pretty cool. Maybe then we'll go in and darken it up just a tad. There you go. Do the same thing in here. There. 
all different types of stuff. I mean, you're not, you're not bound. You can do all different types of things, okay? Let me go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna grab that liner brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into a little bit of my medium. I'm gonna go into, I'll just do the dark, like the black. Mix in a little bit of that brown. Twist it and come to a nice point. I'll start over here. Give me one second. All right. And apologies, I haven't used this liner brush before, so I'm just trying to get used to it. Not too bad, pretty good. Here you go. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Sorry if my arm's in your way. I'm trying to uh, be mindful. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. So yeah, just get it in there, mix it, mix it. I'll start, I'll just start over here. And just come in and start to put in your little, little branches. There we go. There we go. Just have fun. I apologize. Every time I do branches, I get very, very quiet. I'm just trying to figure out where I like them and kind of work, work this little liner brush the best I can here. I have some stuff coming in like that. Like other trees over here, you know? There you go. Just keep working it. Ooh, I don't like the way that went out. So we'll go ahead and try to fix that up there. There you go. Maybe. There we go. There you go. Just like, have fun. Look at the brush. There you go. Pretty cool. And let me go ahead, getting a little dry, so I'm gonna dip into a little bit more of that clear medium. I'm gonna come right back in here. And I'm gonna try to have some fun with this one. Oops. I can see the big old drip of medium there. Let me go ahead and get that in here. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna come in and start doing the same thing over here. See, too much medium, started dripping out. Let me go ahead and just scoop that because I'm gonna have an issue. 
Ah, give me one second. Use a paper towel. See, always mistakes. And I went ahead and just took out a lot of my stuff. No worries. Now I got paint all over my hands, so that's a problem. But no worries, we'll go ahead and get that fixed up. Too, and it's a shame too, because I was like doing so good with my branches. You saw that? So good with those branches. But right, let's see what we can do to kind of correct this here. have them coming in different directions and it's different it's kind of looks like a little bit of a cloud let me see if I can uh... ah no matter what I do I'll just work with it stuff happens no worries you just do it the best that you can stuff happens and just come in there we go and we'll start working that way. See, you always got to be careful. I put a little bit too much. I'm also not used to this uh, liner brush, so I'll make that my excuse. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. All different types of stuff. Here you go. Maybe something like so. There. Kind of don't like the way that was looking. There we go. So. Yeah, just come in. There we go. And same thing over here. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? You can have a lot of fun with your liner brush. A lot, a lot of fun. Maybe this branch comes over this way and comes out a little bit more like so. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There you go. Wiggle it in. And maybe have something like so. Put the little branches up that way, like that. There we go. All different types of branches here, there, there, here, it don't matter. Maybe this one. Here, this one comes up and it goes in front, wiggles itself on down that way. There you go. There you go. All types of stuff. This I have fun with because I have wiggly hands naturally, so this is where I can just not have to worry. I don't need to have a straight line and get all these wonderful, beautiful branches. See how awesome that looks? And same thing here. Neat. All types of stuff. All types of stuff. There you go. Maybe 
Put a little bit more on this guy. There we go. There we go. We do all types of stuff, man. All types of stuff. So there may be something, more trees over this way. Maybe there's a little bit more trees over that way. We'll do something like that. There we go. Actually, almost done. Almost done. Bear with me. Bear with me. There you go. Maybe just a couple more. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to take this and go into this little gray, little gray mixture. And I just want to, I don't know, try to get, put in what it looks like little shadows and stuff. There we go. Maybe a little bit more over here. Come in. There we go. Same thing here, maybe. There we go. I know it looks kind of, kind of off, but you can see, you can see how you're getting these different little just look like uh, shadows. And I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. You know, I went over my stuff, but it's still just a couple little shadows here, there. To even pull some out over here. Get these little background shadows. All over the place. Maybe a couple over. There we go. One second, I just want a little bit more. I'm gonna use that, I had that dirty brush from earlier. I'm just gonna type out some of that paint. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, that way. I don't want to overdo it. There we go. So just by kind of coming over here, you knock some of the some of the stuff off and at the edges. There you go. Nice, huh? Pretty cool. All right. Let me go ahead and grab that filbert brush that had the white. And I'm gonna go back into some of this white here and just fix some of this, just fix some of this up. There we go. Let me wipe some of that off. I don't like that. Here we go. 
and grab a little bit more of this white here. Same thing over here. There we go. A little bit back here. There you go. Pretty cool. I love it. You can just keep going back and forth, back and forth, and keep playing with the different things. And same thing right here. Actually, we'll probably have something like, maybe like that. There you go. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? And just over here as well. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can have something like this. Yep, not too bad. I like that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and maybe just sign this guy. I don't think I'm looking to see if I can tap in and do some more. Maybe I can put a little bit of white. We'll put a little bit of white right here. And then we'll just find a couple of spots, man. Maybe right there. I'm just trying to find a couple of spots that maybe some snow might lay down. Just a couple of spots here or there. Maybe right there. There we go. Maybe something. Maybe, ah, same thing right here. Actually, it might be a good spot to cover that up. I'm gonna come in and just grab a little, that's a little too much, but a nice chunk of paint and just come in and. Wipe that off. Grab a little bit more. Just tap a little spots here, there. There we go. Maybe a couple right here too. There we go. Something there. There we go. Maybe just a little. There we go. Pretty cool. Let me just get a little. There we go. Let me put that down. I'm going to grab my liner brush. I'm just going to go into a little bit of my medium. I'm going to go into the white medium right here. And yeah, maybe just a couple of little. A couple of spots here, there. There we go. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. Just some spots here or there. Here we go. Maybe same thing here. There we go.
Pretty cool. Sorry I'm getting quiet, as always. I apologize. There we go. A couple little more spots. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that out. I'm gonna dip into that medium again. I'm gonna come right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign this. And I hope you all had a great painting and enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun. As always, just make sure this paint right here is thin. It will go right on over all this. And there you go. I think with that, we'll call that a day. Maybe we added just a little, maybe a little water line or something. There you go. There you go. Just a couple little water lines here. There's the kind of break it up, I guess. There. There you go. And with that, I hope you have a good painting. Until next time, please take care of yourself and stay safe.